So I'm, I'm interested in that. So how are you going to do that? What's your process for bringing those staff back? How are you going to deal with those people? Well, the first thing we do is we have to comply with the health directives. So the health directive for now is if you can reasonably work from home, continue to work from home. Okay. But we've got some different practice groups within our office that have different um, levels of lawyers. And what we're finding is that some of the younger lawyers need that more face-to-face -face interactions. For example, I might talk to my younger lawyers 30 times a day for 10 seconds. They're mm. not going to call me from home mm. 30 times a day. Mm. So we're, we're leaving it up to individual practice managers to, to bring those people in their team back into the office on the basis that they can't reasonably work from home. Some of those guys have been at home for nearly three months now. It's a long time. So it's good to get them back into the office, get them interacting again. The stay-at-home mums, they seem to get it down pat. Yeah, um, yeah. So if people come in with um, uh, a personal disinfectant, uh, wipes, uh, clean their hands, make sure they haven't got a temperature when they come into the building, and you've actually disinfected the whole building, you've got a pretty safe environment. We've got a really good starting point. Yeah. So unless somebody comes in here that is sick or proves to be sick, you probably don't have to re-disinfect. No. Once is enough. Yeah. And, and we're lucky enough not to have lifts. Yeah. We're all on the yeah. one level here, which makes yeah. things uh, far easier for us. Okay.